So recently I've had a bunch of people asking me what the best way to record PC games is. So for like clips and stuff or just plain recordings, they want to know how to do it. So I'm going to show you three methods today. The first method is the best because it doesn't cause your game to lag pretty much at all, but it does require a Nvidia graphics card. So to check if you have one of those, you want to go over here, look up uh, GeForce Experience, which is the software that you use. We're going to download this. And we're gonna open it up and it will tell us if we have a graphics card or not. Here we go, it's launching now. So in this system, I do have an NVIDIA graphics card, so it's gonna let me go through and install it like this. If your system doesn't have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're gonna see an error message such as this one. So if you're unable to install the program, you wanna follow one of the other two methods that will be on screen right now at the following timestamps. So just go to that time in the video and look at those instructions. Otherwise what we're going to do is sign into a GeForce Experience which is something you have to do, you can't skip it. And then we're going to go over here and click the settings button. Then go to general, scroll down and turn on the in-game overlay. This should be on by default but sometimes it isn't. Now we can just close out of this and launch up a game and I'll show you how it works. So once you're in your game all you do is hold down the alt button and press Z. That will bring up this menu here. Now this will be off by default, so let's turn that off. So what you can do is you can have recording right here. So you can start a recording. This can go for as long as you want to, and you have to start this manually. But what I like to do is I like to have the instant replay turned on, and this allows you to choose up to 20 minutes that you can instantly clip of your game. So if you could get an epic shot on someone or something, you can just hit a key combination and save that replay. And to do that, you just come down into keyboard shortcuts, and change the one that says, where is it? There you go, save the last one minute it's recorded. I have mine set to one minute, that's why it says that. But you can set it up to 20 minutes if you want. It's pretty powerful. And a lot of people seem to think that this will impact the performance of your game. And you'll be surprised that it actually doesn't because of the way the graphics cards are built. So they basically separate the encoding and recording part of it from the actual part that runs the game. So the 3D engine is separate. And by doing that, you lose like zero frames in your games. Another thing worth doing is most games actually support automatic recording. And to do that, you have to go into the settings. Generally, it's in the game settings. And you turn on this feature called NVIDIA Highlights. It might be called something slightly different, but you should be able to find it. And what this will do is will, it will automatically clip your best kills. And if it thinks you've done something cool, it will just clip it and save it. Let me give you an example. So I'm in a solo game about to earn myself a kill. Oh, I, I died. Sure, let's go with that. And what it's going to do is it's going to record that elimination. See right there? Elimination saved. So what you do after that is you go back to a lobby. And now you'll see this button over here called Highlights. And it will have this clip from that one game. And this, this deletes itself automatically after you go into a new game. So if you want to save this, you click Save to Gallery. After you trim the best part of it, let's say I want to cut out from from here and just, just have me dying like that. Maybe maybe a bit more. Sure, we hit saved gallery. There you go, recording has been saved. But sometimes this doesn't always help because you might have done something really cool before you killed the person. So that's why I always have the instant replay turned on as it doesn't really affect your performance at all anyway. Alright, so here's the second method. So we're going to use a program called OBS Studio. Now this is completely free and this is what streamers actually use to go live most of the time. So we're going to go to obsproject.com, download it for Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever. And once you install that, it will bring up a page, but it's pretty much blank. It looks a bit like this. You won't have your Twitch chat yet until you log in, but this is essentially what it's going to look like. So what you want to do is create a blank scene plus new scene, call it scene two. And we're gonna go over here, we're gonna do game capture. This is better, you don't wanna do display capture because then people end up seeing your whole screen, you don't always want that. So you're gonna do game capture, we're gonna call this 40 night whatever. We're gonna set it to specific window and Fortnite. There we go, it's just gonna capture Fortnite, it's not capturing the rest of the screen and Fortnite's behind this right now which is pretty cool it can capture it through windows on top of it so just hit ok and what we're going to set up is we're going to go in the settings 
We're going to go over to Output. We're going to set this to Advanced up here. And we're going to go over to Replay Buffer. So you want to enable this, and this is the amount of seconds that you'll be able to, to clip at any point. So this, this method obviously isn't going to be as good as the NVIDIA GeForce method. But if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, this is probably the second best option for you. So I have this set to 60 seconds, and to actually record the replay, you have to go over to hotkeys over here, and you have to set a hotkey to save the replay. So you want to put F10 or something on here, so that you can press that button and save the replay. What I see a lot of people doing is actually stopping the replay buffer and what that does is it just deletes it so you don't want to stop it if you want to clip something you want to press F10 or whatever it is you set your hotkey to. Uh, something else you'll find when you open OBS is that it won't have this turned on automatically. So to get OBS to automatically start the replay buffer when you open it you want to go to wherever your shortcut is you want to right click properties and see right here where it says target I'm going to go to the end add a space and add the following so that's two hyphens, no, yeah, two hyphens, and then start replay buffer, one word. And by doing that, it will automatically start this so that you can clip as soon as you open OBS. Now, some people don't like this method because they don't want to have OBS running all the time, and this can actually impact your performance. There are some ways to get around that as well. You can change the encoder. This is only an NVIDIA exclusive as well. So if you have an AMD graphics card, for example, or an Intel, integrated one there should be other options here that you can use which will be more lightweight but, but this is definitely going to impact your performance a, quite a bit so now we're going to show you the last method and this is built into windows but this method does have one of the biggest performance impacts so you will notice your fps dropping in games so if that doesn't matter to you here's how you do it you want to open up your settings for windows and we go over to gaming and you want to turn on game bar right there. So once you've done that, all you have to do is press the Windows key and G at the same time, which will bring up the Windows game bar. And this has multiple options in it, which let you record and save replays and stuff, similar to OBS, except you don't have to have the program fully open all the time for it to work. It's pretty good because you can just set hotkeys in here to automatically record what, you, what you've just done. You want to have a play around in here and make sure you get your microphone settings all good as well as your game audio make sure it's not all too loud but other than that you should be good well that's the end of this video thanks so much for watching please subscribe or even use my creative code if you want see you later goodbye